Let's compare biomolecules, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acid. It's a good order to learn or compare them. And uh, I'm going to talk about the monomers. Monosaccharides can have three carbon to six carbon monosaccharides. They also could be aldo or keto sugars. So the details you can learn, right? So then we're going to move to lipids. Lipids have the linker. Uh, glycerol sort of the backbone and it has ch2 ch ch2 it's a triol we call glycerol or one two three um propan triol that's what that one then the fatty acids have a uh, carboxylic group and you start number one on the carboxylic group and you go on so these ones can change from 12 carbon to 18 typically even numbers and then the steroids the steroids are unique class with these four rings fused and it's called the steroid nucleus what you have in cholesterol and sex hormones right now then we're going to go to amino acids the name tells what it is amine group is similar to ammonia it hooks up to an alpha carbon with a variable r group it could be hydrogen methyl phenyl and so on 20 different r groups and then the similar to the carboxylic acid we have a carboxylate group and that is the acid so amine group amine and then the acid group so 20 different amino acid real monomers they are monomers just like in sugars okay now nucleic acids have this phosphate linker see it's similar to phosphoric but it's not phosphoric it's a phosphate linker now um, sugars have pentose sugar it's a five carbon sugar and connected to nitrogen and then when you're losing the two prime oh that's where the deoxy for dna okay now the nitrogenous bases have two kinds uh, one ring we call the pyrimidines and the other one has two rings we call the purines okay so that's how you know what the components are now the bond type for carbohydrates is called the glycosidic bond so the one ring is connected to another ring sugar it's called the glycosidic bond they also called the o glycosidic because see the o connection right uh, the lipids have the ester connection that's the c double bond o and o this is the actual ester bond so you can break that one with lipase enzyme okay all right uh, peptides have a peptide bond carbonyl and the amine function together and then it makes this peptide bond that's the peptide bond so peptidases proteases will break that that peptide bond in the middle okay Pospodiester bond I already draw on the top check it out and uh, that's called the pospodiester link now the primary and secondary structures are not very much for the carbohydrates and lipids right but it's important in the peptides it goes from n sequence into the c sequence or it's the n terminal to the c terminal right in the nucleic acid it goes from five prime to the three prime those are the numbers on the sugar now secondary structures are helixes and beta sheets they are based on the hydrogen bonding similarly hydrogen bonding will make a double helixes or hairpins or clover leaves in nucleic acids okay all right now uh, the tertiary structures um, it's only matters for proteins nucleic acids have it we are not going to learn about it so the insulin is a functional protein it's a hormone it's working and same hemoglobin is a functional protein and it transport um, blood right uh, oxygen in the blood so that's what it does now the major roles you can learn simply remember uh, energy supplier short term and long term is carbohydrates uh, long term energy storage is lipids and insulation and then uh, structural and functional roles like enzymes are proteins and genetic information storing and functionality is nucleic acids